You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, some uh, strange things have been happening. Our uh, web servers for our Internet broadcast were hacked and taken down. And uh, we had uh, trace routers in place, and uh, so we know who did it. Our uh, website, williamcooper.net, was also hacked, and uh, they attempted to take it down, but our security measures there prevented them from doing it. We also had trace routers running there, and we can identify anybody who ever visits the website and exactly what they do. And uh, uh, without cookies or anything else, it's just a security uh, thing that we have to prevent people from uh, really screwing around with us. The only thing that happened with the website is they actively uh, and actually did prevent us from uploading any new pages or updating any pages for a while. And, uh, until we were able to discover what they had uh, what they had put on the server to cause it to do that, and uh, and uh, eliminate it. The trace routes are very revealing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they lead to two different places. One place is Austin, Texas. <laughs> Isn't that a coincidence with the series we're doing here now, and uh, with the fact that Alex Jones has bragged on many occasions. Uh, that he lives in the Silicon Valley of Texas, that Austin is the Silicon Valley of Texas, and that he has friends that can hack into anything. He's made those statements openly on the air. Uh, the second place was the Department of Defense. So there's uh, two groups of people who were very actively interested in uh, stopping people from hearing the series that we've been doing over the last couple of days and the final uh, one tonight. We have security measures in tonight. It's going to be very hard to take down the web servers that are broadcasting the hour of the time, uh, but they may try. Uh, tonight is going to open your eyes. It's going to reveal something to you that uh, is just absolutely astounding, uh, along with the fact that they tried to stop us from broadcasting this information on the web and uh, have been jamming this frequency for the last two nights. Uh, we have also, through our friends who are ham operators who have radio direction finders, uh, traced the, uh, the jamming directly uh, to military installations. And uh, the fact that they tried to hack into our website and shut it down uh, tells a pretty big story about uh, the importance of what you're going to hear tonight. So sit back, get comfortable, pay attention. This is going to literally blow your mind. Cash machines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is the former KGB head. And this information is vital, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now. The war in Chechnya is raging in Grozny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying, uh, 20 to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city. Russian hinds are being shot down. Tanks are being blown to bits. Uh, massive uh, grod, unguided rocket attacks are being launched on the city indiscriminately right now. Air and artillery bombardments as well. Uh, it's absolutely out of control. It is pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll give you the news first on Y2K. The newest developments, the Pennsylvania nuclear plant has been shut down. Um, one of the main uh, systems transferring the power from it uh, failed, but they say it's 
not a Y2K problem. And the things I'm experiencing here in Austin, Texas, the shelves are empty of water and some gas stations are running out of fuel. Uh, here in Central Texas uh, and in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the shortwave is basically down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, went off right as I went on the air. The big news on Y2K. Then we'll start going to your calls. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. All right, let's go ahead and get to this article. Associated Press, uh, this came out at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, December 31st, 1999, Pennsylvania nuclear plant shut down one of the two nuclear reactors at Pico Energy Co.'s Limerick Generating Station has shut down uh, this morning after a piece of equipment failed. Company spokesman Neil McDermott said the problem was not Y2K related. It was declared an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. they got to have a serious emergency to shut down a plant, ladies and gentlemen. You power one down, you're not going to power it up for at least days. Um, it was declared an unusual event. At 2.55 a.m., shutdown occurred when an insulator on the main generator transformer from Limerick 2 failed. We had reports yesterday of this. Off the record, I would not report it, but I had it from a good source that this plant was having problem along with four other plants. I may just go ahead and report it here. Um, I mean, boy, do we get good information here. This has been going on for days. Uh, from our information, it is not this, this transformer that they're talking about. They wouldn't just shut a plant down over that. Something serious may be going on there. So that the central government, known as the federal government, the occupational government uh, in Washington, D.C., has set up a huge $50 million command bunker hooked into all the FEMA boxes that can take over all the shortwave uh, broadcast and commercial AM and FM stations as well as television broadcast stations. And we hope they do not activate that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, police and military are on high alert, running around looking for supposed boogeymen and terrorists under every rock. Uh, military uh, are highly visible now. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are trains of military equipment moving into Austin. Uh, two nights ago, on Wednesday night, Fox News reported that the airport will be used as a massive holding facility for troublemakers or rioters here in Austin that has no history of riots. They need to get that country locked down so they can stage the election for Vladimir Putin. I mean, this guy is a demon. Have you seen this guy? It's just how he's raging with power. I'm Alex Jones. I'm your host. I'm just one of the great hosts here on the GCN Radio Network, and I've been very passionate today because I can't even keep track of all the developing news that's coming in. I'm not going to get into the. I'm not even going to say it's it's six to seven reactors across the country. Um. I'm not even going it, it, to. Right. It, it, it's bad, and I, I got this news about the Pennsylvania plant early yesterday, got it again off air, confirmed it with someone that is 99% accurate, about like I am, trying to report the truth, and now I've got the Associated Press saying, well, they shut the whole plant down, but uh, they call it, um, they call it an, an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. Well, it's got to be pretty bad for them to power a plant down. Time is getting shorter until Y2K. If you want to be sure your family and loved ones weather the potential Y2K storm of delays, shortages, or interruptions of services, then now is the time to stock up on emergency supplies and a home food reserve. As the developments uh, move forward with this Y2K and this gear up for uh, clamping down in America and Russia and around the world by my globalist forces will be bringing you the news as long as we're here on the air. Now pretty much dictator and controller uh, of Russia publicly, and here in America they're gearing up and bracing for terrorism and militarizing everything in front of us. So it's happening there, it's happening here. There they're using the war with Chechnya. Here they're using Y2K and the threat of terrorism. Oh, this is extremely serious. Two weeks ago, Topol M, 6,200-mile super range, multiple warhead, Newest design U.S. clone technology missiles were deployed across Russia. They're mobile. Uh, these are first strike type systems. They're also designed to uh, uh, survive several strikes from America or any other nation. They're deploying these, and Yeltsin openly has been threatening us weekly to nuke us. I mean, it's just getting insane. Uh, and absolutely, this looks like just one more ratchet on the takeover of America. And yes, um, 
They have an extreme strong man in, KGB leader, running Russia right now. They have deployed their missiles against us and their submarines and have already delivered uh, fully functional missile cruisers.